YouTubes, I got a unit here that's gonna go, it's a replacement condensing unit on a keg trailer that's gonna get all solared out. It's gonna run off solar and it's gonna go out to Burning Man for its maiden voyage. Um, I'm gonna do a little prep work on it before I get up to the job site tomorrow. Tomorrow is when we are going to install this and I'll show you guys that. This is a little 115 volt unit. And that is the plan for it. And the prep is, I, I want to prep this line up. I think I'm going to have it come up here. And it's going to go, it's going to bush up to 7 8 And that's my plan. So I'll be able to uh, get that sweated in. Looks like they got it so you can just braise it with regular solder. You don't have to silver solder it. So that'll be nice. Oh, and I'm going to uh, put a piece of SO cord in here too because that's how they got it going. Where it's uh, heading to. And we'll get this dude all prepped and ready. Alright, let's do this together and see if this thing's got any charge in it. It's been pretty pathetic lately. On units... That's all it has in it. That little bit. Just freaking terrible. I'm telling you guys. Just terrible. You'll see uh, later on when we're at the unit, they, whoever built the trailer for this did an awesome job. It's got three eights and seven eights for the line set. This is about the biggest BTUs you can go for 115 volts. And the trailer's insulated real good, so we'll see how, how it makes out. I'm gonna get a piece of five eights coming up here with this bushing to the seven eights. And we're gonna let it rip. All right, all right, all right, YouTubes. I'm gonna head up the coast um, to put in this condensing unit. I think it's back there. I don't know if you guys can see it. I did some prep work on it. Um, that's gonna go on a keg trailer that's gonna head out to Burning Man. It's gonna be solar powered. It's gonna be pretty cool. Um, so I will bring you guys along the coast try and get some shots on the way up and then hopefully film some of this job uh, let's check it out ah uh, stopped for the road work so the winter the winter storms beat beat the road up and they're fixing them so we got traffic control but look at my gorgeous view while I'm waiting for traffic control Look at that. Not too shabby. All right, here it is. Thermostat, defrost timer. This is going to the condensing unit. <laughs> this looks like the old one was hackered out. I'll have to clean that up. Oh yeah, Chainsaw Massacre. All right. All right, I'm gonna set it back like that. You got air intake there, plus they got the doors open and then they got the exhaust fan up there. Low ambient, you can close the doors when it's hot outside. Doors gotta be open.
what I'm thinking there. Cut these back, bring it over, and in. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is bolt this thing down. Drill me some holes. Mount this thing. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna get one here. I'm gonna get one back there in that corner. For sure. All right, there I am. <laughs> there we go. I got the star, star style nuts on there. I'll show you guys. Yeah, it's one. I'm using these nuts with those built in star washers. Howdy. Electric, <laughs> electric tractor. That's right. Made in USA. This ball is too small, so it, again, it'll move a little. Yeah, bit. it's it's a half inch too small, but again, it wasn't meant. Hold on, let me get the block. This one's got two and a quarter for some reason. All right, we got to move the trailer because I was having massive voltage drop coming off this extension cord off a little T that went to the big cord for the keg trailer. It was only like 108 volts at the contactor that would just chatter. So I got to get plugged into some good, good power to test this thing. There's the future electric tractor. That's the little guy. There's three sizes, that one, a medium one, and a big one. I gotta follow the tractor. All right, uh, that one went a little long. I'll tell you guys a story. I'm heading back home now. Getting foggy, coastal fog. Look, it's almost eight o'clock at night. So, got the condensing unit changed out, piped in. Just taking my time, doing a nice job. Um, it has this big giant cord and it's big enough for voltage drop but where we had the trailer I was doing the work it went from the big cord to an extension cord to a trailer and it had so much voltage drop the contactor went to pull in it would just chatter and I got my meter on there took the wire off one of the coils so I could check voltage there and down to 108 volts so the contactor could pull in so they had to get the tractor the electric tractor and uh, we moved it over to a power box where I could get direct power and then it worked uh, I finished charging up the unit setting the thermostat and the defrost timer showed the customer how to use it because that thing's heading out to Burning Man and uh, they said they'll send me some pictures when it's all set up it's gonna have 5kW solar array on there. All tricked out and the panels come out and they're tiered and it's got the Victron, the big Victron uh, inverter. What was that, the quad something? So it's gonna be the real deal, self-sustained. They're, they're gonna capture the condensate water to put on their little swamp coolers that they have for out there and they're gonna do it up. It's gonna be really cool. So, and that's about the biggest condensing unit you can get for 115 volts. And that's where you're limited with these little keg trailers. That you guys might have seen me work on those in the past, and people have a hard time with those things keeping up. You have to insulate the crap out of them. They have to be really, really insulated. Try and keep the sun off the roof, and then roll the dice if if it'll keep up or not, depending on the ambient temperature. Just super limited with 115 volts, how many BTUs you can get. So it's basically, it's a big three quarter horsepower condensing unit. And that's, that's it really. So if you liked the video, please hit the like button. Let's get that algorithm up. If you haven't yet subscribed, there's the subscribe button. Click that subscribe button. And there's the bell. You can click the bell to get notifications when I post videos. Let's take one more look at the Highway 1 on the way out. And this is our summer pattern. We get the coastal fog in the morning and the evening. And then in the afternoon, it's sunny and nice, usually. We didn't get any sunshine today. Today just stayed foggy, which tells me it's super hot inland. 
that's usually how it goes so thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video